Alright, what's up everybody? It's KG here again, doing another Darkest Dungeon live. Um, this time we're gonna be, since we went to the, I think we've gotten to the Warrens and the Cove already, so figured, uh, should mix it up and explore some other ones. So here we are in the Wield, uh, taking kind of a, uh, dark team, um, with like minus, uh, with uh, not too much torch. The idea is to get my torch beneath 26. Um, because I have a bunch of like night owl corks and um, like damage buffs that uh, the corks that give me damage buffs when uh, torch is beneath 26. Um, which, but it's funny because like I'm using the vestal and the uh, crusader who are gonna who have skills that give me torch. I also brought some torches just in case because I've never really done a dark run before, so kind of scared and kind of uh, feeling it out. So we'll be going through this together. Um, is the recording yet? Yeah, it is. Okay, looks. Um, and yeah, so the idea with this team is the uh, Crusader. Oh, okay, hold on, let me go over this first. So, this is uh, another thing, like how I mentioned uh, previously, where you can just go ahead and bring an herbs uh, instead of four food, because the herbs are cheaper than four food. Um, ooh, nice, no blight. That's good. Um, but yeah, so I brought. Uh, I know the. The wheel, the mind the wheel. Yeah, I know the wheel. Um, often has that uh, corpse thing that you can examine with herbs to get food instead of having to bring food. So you just save yourself some a uh, little bit of gold uh, by doing that. But anyway, the uh, goal of this team is uh, the crusader will do that. What's the, oh, the holy lance uh, to push him to the second row, and then the. Um, and if the turn order gets out of whack, then I can uh, use the uh, Grey Robber's stun skill, which uh, moves her back as well, um, to get the Crusader in the second row. Oh, I didn't bring a key. I didn't bring a key because this uh, curio is kind of rare, so I was like, oh, it's not going to be, it's not worth it. Um, I guess I should have brought one just in case. Um, and then the, uh, I have the, ah, oh, dang it. I have um the ancestral trinket on the grave robber, which is supposed to prevent um, surprise, or it's supposed to let me surprise them. I forget which one it is, but that's not supposed to happen where you get surprised. Uh, I feel like that was essential uh, in a dark run, just because I know the enemy has a higher chance to surprise you um, when it's dark. Um, right there, uh, even though the, the witch or enchantress or whatever she called, um, she had like 3 HP left, but I still use the holy lance on her just because I feel like it's, it's better to just prevent her from attacking than to try to, um, spread out the damage. Uh, so even though it was, it was a 21 damage roll on the, like 3 HP, I think it was still worth it. Um, just because we'd rather her not get a turn off rather than... Uh, rather than have somebody get have her get like two turns off or whatever. Alright, uh, then the surprise did shuffle my Crusader to the fourth line, but because of the um, because of the Shadow Fade, I was able to put her back into the third line. I think right here we're gonna go for flashing daggers to get the bleed debuff on the witch, and then hopefully she can die to bleed from if it bleeds with the Helion. Um, I don't see a problem with that. That should be okay. Yeah. Oh, she didn't get debuffed. That sucks. Um, we could yop for if it bleeds. Do we want to bandage that? Yes, we do. That was a crit. I missed that. Um, she should be dead. Yeah, two bleeds will. Yeah. Perfect. That's what exactly what we wanted. Um, and then right here, I guess we will. Stun this bro. Yeah. And we are bringing our torch up a little bit, but as long as it stays beneath um, 26, it's okay. And then we will kill him. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We should be able to reduce some stress on the next turn with the Crusader. Uh, yeah, I think so. We can yop that. Oh, damage. I think she can sustain that. I don't think. Yeah, we can just yop. Yop, yop. 
Um, going okay so far. Mm, not going too bad. We will pick him. Dang! Oh, it's because I have the uh, Manslayer ring. Manslayer ring is really good in the wheel because uh, er I think everything here is a human. Um, I can't. The dogs, I guess, and the spiders, and obviously the, the worms. But um, besides that, I think everything is a human. I think. Um, like all the those those dudes who look like they're from The Last of Us, and I'll, like. The, that guy's that caused the blight. They're all humans. Um, what do we want to do? Yeah, and get some more heal before we have to kill him. Maybe not. Yeah, we can. Um, so we can either yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. and then we'll kill him with the crusade. Not bad at all. Just some stress. A little bit more stress than I wanted. Success and Torch came almost back up. Always reshuffle. If you use a team that, that relies on um, rearranging the team, like with Holy Lance or the Shadow Fade, you always gotta make sure you uh, reshuffle. And I know that the tent can lead to something bad, so I'm not gonna investigate it. How many bad did you say? Four. Okay, cool. Uh, we got to explore how many rooms? 90%? So yeah, we'll go down this hallway. I guess I should have left that sack for when I return, but, oh well. Um, yeah, I am still loving Darkest Dungeon, like, it's been out forever. I think I, I've been playing Darkest Dungeon since its early release on Steam, uh, so before the full game came out. Oh, great, nice. Uh, and yeah, just been loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the Antiquarian, or I forget what her name is. Uh, like, I just haven't been able to figure out how to use her. Maybe I'll make a video on, like, just me, like, Messing around with her and like, for, like I don't even know road, what road to put her in. And like I don't like the her like force protection move. Like I don't see a reason to use her over the Houndmaster. Um, but yeah, besides that, besides her, I think like I've been I've been loving like all the units. The Abomination's great. Houndmaster's great. Um, all the patches have been cool. Uh, there's been a lot of changes over the course of the game as well. Uh, a lot of changes to trinkets, so I'm excited to see if they continue. I'm not even sure if they're continuing development on the game, but this latest patch just came out either like a month or two ago, and I'm still loving it. Uh, Radiant mode, I haven't really explored with. I have a save file on Radiant mode, but um, I don't really like early game. Early game in Darkest Dungeon kind of sucks. Um, like before you have your Hamlet, like, oh my goodness, dang, I'm eating so much, are you serious? Does eating go up when you're in darkness? Yeah, I can't camp now, that's crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been loving the game, um, if there's anything that any of y'all need help with, I've been playing this game for a long time, so I feel like I have a good understanding of how it works, so please let me know if there's anything you want to be seeing. Um, I love just messing around with the game and just like taking like double Houndmaster, like triple Crusader, double Highwayman, like stuff like that. It's just like a lot of fun. Uh, oh, okay, so right here, the reason why, one of the reasons why you want Shadow Fade is exactly for this scenario, where if because now the Crusader cannot use Holy Lance because there's no target in the third or fourth row. But and so there's no way to get him into the second row without manually moving him. But we can uh, Shadow Fade and push him to the second row. So we will, and I think we will do the number one slot um, because the Gray Robber can't hit the number two slot. So we will actually. I uh, no, I have pickaxe, so it doesn't matter which row we. Um, stunned. Do we want to yop is the question. Um, I guess we will just do this. Oh no! Yop. Yop is way too good. 80 resist, 150. One, I have a chance. Yop. Yop is way too good. Then I guess we will kill this one. Continually on 
onslaught. Destroy and them all. That's a lot of damage to take, and uh, I'll save it though, because just in case I encounter like some dogs or something, I want my bandages for that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get her up a little bit, a little bit. Especially since I like, won't be able to camp. I won't be able to camp because I. Um, I'm running low on food already. I can only eat twice more, and when you can, I, I like to eat um, eight food to get the, the stress release. Um, Confidence surges as the but yeah, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to camp. It's okay because I, I usually don't camp on my medium runs anyway. Do we want to use bandage? No, we don't. We're good. He has a lot of HP. He's strong. He's big and strong. And we have an extra shovel, so we should do this. I bring an extra shovel instead of um, a, a key uh, because because the uh, those graves are common and the those locked chests on the ground they're not so common. Um, like it, oh, the rooms rooms with um. With treasure in them, like as Secrets indicated on your map, they have unlocked treasure chests, so it's not even you don't even get to use your key on them. Um, so it's, I, I know, in my opinion, it's not that worth it to bring a key. Uh, yeah, I'd rather bring an extra shovel if I if I had to choose. If you have the the gold and the item inventory to bring both, I mean, why not bring both? I just didn't feel like it. Uh, I guess it's more important in quests where you have to either collect or uh, like the th like three shrines kinds of um, kinds of um, kinds of quests where you have to collect the three items or activate three shrines or whatever. No, this is bad. I just started my campfire too. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how this goes. So if I move the Helion to the front, I can Holy Lance the woman. Let's see. That's four damage. So we have to dagger. Okay. It was overkill, but the flashing daggers had a roll to not kill her, which I didn't want to risk. Um, and then let's see. We do want the Vestal in the back, and if I can move Crusader up and Vestal still hasn't moved, then I can move the Vestal back, yeah. So. There we go. Not too bad. Oh no! No, and crit, so definitely shuffle. Uh, okay. Do I have lunch with? I hope I have. I don't think I have lunch with the grave robber. I don't. <laughs> We're gonna do this. No, we need damage. Yeah, we need damage. And grave robber is one of the best ones to do it. It doesn't matter if it's Holy Lance or not. We, I want to keep the corpse there, um, just in case, uh, for whatever reason. If I need to stall later on, the corpse will probably disappear by the end, of, before the end of the battle. So it probably doesn't even really matter. But um, right here, we're gonna go for Wicked Hack because I want the crit, and I do have a uh, crit modifier because of the uh, darkness. Um, yeah, so we're just going for crits right now because we can't stun him. Ah, uh, no crits. Okie dokie. Um, who do we want to heal? If he gets a crit tree smack. Well, the Helion has less HP, so I guess we'll just heal her. Sick. Nice crit, nice crit. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Then this battle should be over. Um, we definitely have to heal that. 
Hopefully we can kill him before the Crusader moves, which is likely. Uh, yeah, we're just going, we're trying to kill him now, so that's why we're not yapping. Otherwise, we would yap. I just want to kill him before he gets the tree branch smacked down. Like I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that crit. Um, I guess I could have yapped and continued to heal with the Vestal, which is probably what would have been optimal. But I didn't want to deal with that. All right, great. Uh, look like how much gold you get just by freaking um, darkness. It's crazy. It's definitely the way to play if you need gold, uh, which I don't really need gold. Uh, I am training three of these units up to level six. Three of them are level five, and then I think the grave robber has already completed her run in the darkest dungeon. Um, and then it, it, to get them from level four to level six does take a lot of gold, just because it's like three thousand for weapons and then like fifteen hundred per skill to get it to level five. Uh, which does add up. Um, I think I actually spent like close to twenty or thirty thousand for these three units um, to get them from level f to get them from level four stuff to level five stuff. Um, so it is something to keep in mind. Um, even if you do have like fifty thousand gold, it's like that's gonna expand like pretty quick just by um, just by getting ready for level six dungeons. Um, do I want to yup or do I not want to yup? See, the idea will be Dagger the Dog, Holy Lance the Dog, Judgment. Yeah, we're yapping. Oh, wow. The lowest of rolls. Oh, that sucks. Probably should have if it bled. The, uh, I think the Yop was worth it, just because I didn't want to deal with the Tree Ranch Smackdown crit, nor did I want to get Confusion Sport, because if I got Confusion Sport, then it this dog would have like ran havoc on my team. Uh, dang it, man, these rolls. Oh no. Two turns off for the dog, it's really bad. Can we kill him with the paper? Nope. Oh! Dang it. I think we're gonna heal that with a bandage just because it is near the end of the quest now. So why not? Cool. And then we will heal the Crusader to prevent a tree branch smackdown crit from killing him. And we won't heal her bleed because if I just use a judgment, then that'll heal what the bleed has done. And that's why we Yep, exactly. See, without that heal, I think he would have then knock down to death's door. And then here, pretty much all we have to do is just yop. Yop, recycle him. Um, yeah, just yop cycle. And that's pretty much GG. Nice critical hit. Um, I think it was necessary. Because I don't want him to get another turn off. I'm not sure if I'm going to build a judgment with her. Which means I should have uh, killed her bleed with a bandage. And what is his stun? 135, 194. We'll try it. Perfect. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. The, uh, this giant himself could probably end an unprepared run just because if he critical hits. A tree branch smackdown, then they're, that's pretty much one of your guys uh, right there. So you know, whenever you come to the the wheel, you have to have a plan for the giant. Um, the man at arms, any protection unit is really good with dealing with him, just because he can he can only tree branch smackdown the front two rows. So the man at arms and the hound master are super good with dealing with the giant. Um, oh, oh, perfect! She does get judgment off. So this is why we didn't heal her bleed, was because she just recovered like almost all the HP that she just lost. So that is perfect. Um, 
We're gonna use the holy water, so we can't discard that. We still need the food. I want the anti-venom and the bandages. We need the shovels, just in case. I want this ring, because I don't think I have one of those, surprisingly. Uh, I guess we will drop the jade for the gold. Yeah. And I think this heals one of my negative quirks. Which... Um, yeah, we'll do that one. I think it heals one of my negative quirks. Yes. And then uh, stuff like Tipler or like anything that requires your your unit to only choose one way for stress relief. I don't like those negative quirks. Um, the ones that that say like in town will not be able to pray, like that's okay because you have uh, five other options for stress relief. But the ones that that limit you to only one, I don't like those because. Um, then if you get like another quirk that's like, for example, you can get Gambler and then you can get like Known Cheat, so then now you have no way to, to, um, now you have no way to stress relief until you go to the sanatorium. So I don't think there's anything like that for drinking, but still it's just, um, good to get rid of those. Anyway, and that's the quest. That was my first dark run. It was pretty easy. Um, do you want to keep going? Yeah, why not? Let's just investigate the last room. Ugh. Okay, that's a bad sign. I think I think I'm about <laughs> That made me scared. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a pretty good run. Uh, we were able to keep the torch beneath 26 even with the Vestal and the Crusader, um, which was good. And I shouldn't have brought I shouldn't have even brought torches. I bought them just because I was scared. And I was like, oh what if I need the light? Um, and the ancestral trinket didn't even do that much work to prevent surprises. I don't even know if I got any surprises either. Oh, I just had to hit that Gatorade really quick. Mm, Alright, let's see. Oh, it looks like I have two diseases. Kind of sucks. Ooh, everybody is level 6, so we'll be going to Dark Extension soon. Oh, that sucks. That's two weeks gone for the Helion and two weeks gone for the Vestal. Well, that does it for this episode of Dark Extension Live with me, KG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you guys are enjoying the series and if you guys want to see anything else in the Dark Extension. I love using whatever teams, ridiculous teams like three Houndmasters, three Crusaders, double Highwaymen, double Abomination. Just let me know what you want to see. I'd be happy to do it. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to be keep on doing my thing, looking towards the end of the Dark Extension. Alrighty, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.